now the time frame uh, Baba has become shorter. Right. Uh, news travels so fast and the moves are so drastic. Look at the the changes in the Federal Reserve. They kept interest rates at zero. The yeah. Fed funds rate zero to to a quarter percent interest rate, and then suddenly overnight they changed. Now we're at the Fed funds rate three to seven, almost four percent. The failures in the tax rate will have to bail out the banks and these institutions and so on. You know, my father said that when I was a little, a little boy in uh, World War II Germany. Okay, and you know the Nazis were coming. They didn't like you. They would take everything you had. My father said, "Get smart. What they, what you have in your brain, they cannot take from you. Experience <laughs> is so important. You know. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm a little bit older now than 40 years ago, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, but it's still the same. You never want to be in a majority when suddenly we see that the majority is starting to agree with our yeah. forecast. Oh. We say, okay, we got to change. Why should we be changing? Because the majority is always uh, wrong. If the majority were the place to be, then everybody would be driving a Bentley or a Mercedes right. or a Rolls Royce. You, you want to, timing is everything. In fact, right. that is the motto on the Wellington letter. Timing is everything, you know. And right now, people are buying. We saw it in October with this huge spree in call buying. Everybody thinking <laughs> it's the bottom of the market. Uh, so, of course, encouraged by financial TV and so on. And it's so totally false, you know. We are now in the precipice of the next big, big, big crash. plunge. Yes, <laughs> this this is the leg in a bear market where finally the institutions. The big money managers, the big money that's out there, where they check it out, they say, this is terrible. This We're not going to have a recovery. The worst is still ahead, yes. and they start selling. But when they're selling, they have to have their shields going on TV and say, oh, this is the bottom or very close to the bottom. Yeah. Sometime next year, the Federal Reserve is going to reverse policy and so on. But what they don't say is that the moment the Fed... Uh, changes its policy, that's when you have the biggest drop in the market. Because right. the big smart money says they're only changing their policy to loosening money because things are so bad. You know, always pretend that the people who want you to buy something, they're the thieves, you know? Yeah. And uh, so I, I have never trusted thieves with investment advice. But, you know, this is such a great opportunity. Lehman Brothers, you know, we said at the beginning of 2008, we're going to go into a financial crisis by right. year end. And everybody was, oh, the economy is great, no recession in sight, was what the Fed chairman said to Congress and so on. It was all a bunch of baloney. Then we had Lehman Brothers going bankrupt on September 4th that year. And we uh, gave advice to uh, buy five different uh, ETFs, that inverse ETFs that rise when right. the market plunges. So those five had an average gain in the next six weeks of 72%. Wow. The best performer was up 91% wow. in six weeks. Wow. See, these are the opportunities in a bear market. And most people, they, they say, no, in a bear market, you got to hide under the, underneath the bed, you know? No. Got to be, no, no, this is a great opportunity. Inform yourself, read, read, study. You know, this is, people think it's so easy to buy a stock. You just pick up the phone, tell the broker. Now it's even too easy because you can do it on your, on your computer. There's nobody in between that can stop you from stupidity, you know? So the, people have to inform themselves right. this is a, a wonderful opportunity we cannot change the trends okay right. i wish i could because then we wouldn't have a deep 80 to 90 year cycle that is very yeah. dependable the last one was uh, the great depression and that's why i said in early 2020 uh that we're going into depression and i listed right. all the things we're going to see we're going to see droughts. We're going to see famines. We're going to see locust uh, swarms infesting uh, Africa, and we're going to see wars. Right. And the war, everything that was coming true by the end of last year, except the war. We didn't have a war yet. That came two months later in February of this right. year. 
right. Ukraine. We were with a good friend of ours, who is um, the, the president of a major international hotel chain. You probably know who I mean. And he was also my tennis partner, a really good athlete. And so he and his wife were over, and we kind of reminisced about the one, one of the people you were talking about. Right. Yeah, it's a very interesting story because they were also doing business together. Right. But, right. Uh, you know, listen, you, you got to be smarter than the rest. And you right. you don't ever go by the, everybody else is doing this, so I want to do that too. No, if everybody's doing it, you don't want to be right. doing it. Right. I tell people, read books, you know, you get the, the, all the total knowledge that a person has accumulated over 40, 50 years of their lifetime. You get it in a book for 20 bucks, you know. I yeah. mean, there's no better bargain in the world than reading, but nobody reads anymore. They they think going to Facebook is a reading, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, or TikTok. But, you know, uh, the, you mentioned $50. We also have trading services for people who are very experienced trading the market. Good. comes out maybe uh, uh, twice a week. And um, uh, so that's uh, uh, $500 a month. Okay? Good. So uh, that's for people who want to make a lot of money. And uh, this year has been absolutely fantastic. And this is transitory. Yes. Oh, jeez. Life it's is transitory. We only live 80 years or 90, you know. I, I'm hoping for 100. But <laughs> that may be too long. But it's transitory. Eventually we die. So everything is transitory. Yeah. You know, it's too bad that we need... A bad situation to make uh, the most money you could ever think of, you right. know. But there's no alternative. You're going to lose a lot of money no matter what you do. And other things, for example, if you have a house or two houses and so on, they're going to go down in value quite a bit, you know. Uh, but at least you can compensate for that by doing some of the things that we're advising people to do, you know, going short. You can profit from this, and eventually there will be a great time uh, for precious metals, but they're really hard to time because it's such a manipulated market. Right. You know, I mean, you read about these lawsuits of the regulators against the big banks, JP Morgan, et cetera, et cetera. You know, they get fined a few billion dollars for manipulating the gold market and the silver yeah. market, you know? I mean, it's incredible. And it's like a slap on the wrist because they probably made 30 or 40 billion with the manipulations. So they got to pay a $2 billion fine. That's a bargain. 